Hi guys and welcome back to Pass the Move. Uh, today's episode we've got a game for you against Arsenal in the Community Shield. Uh, in terms of what's happening since the last episode, actually as you can see from the date here, quite a lot has happened. We've actually managed to get through pre-season. And the reason being is that actually it's a pretty terrible pre-season, not in terms of results but actually in terms of the injuries. But I'll get into that in a second. I'll actually show you what happened since the last episode, which was another game against Arsenal, but obviously we were playing for something different. We are playing for the Premier Division title. It was a nice uh, 5-0 win against Arsenal. You should definitely check it out if you haven't watched it. Um, but what followed it was a disappointing 2-1 loss to um, Chelsea. And uh, what happened was they we, we were leading by uh, half-time. As you can see, Paul Pogba managed to get a goal. Let me see if I can show you that quickly. Um, but yeah, it was a disappointing second half. I thought my players would kick on and, and uh, get the second goal really make it comfortable, but that didn't that didn't happen. And instead, uh, Pedro managed to score a brace, and uh, ultimately like, that sort of put us out of the title race. Really, so all we could play for was the um, Champions League, and uh, we had one of the Champions League spots. And sorry, it's going a bit too quickly. Let's just slow that down. And um, yeah, just a banging goal there, really, from Paul Pogba. Uh, but yeah, you can see Chelsea were pretty much still playing a defensive formation, <coughs> and uh, it ultimately paid off for them. Um, they they switched it around a little bit after half time, and that, that helped them out. They did get one clear cut chance, four half chances. Even though we had more clear cut chances, we still didn't manage to get our second goal. Um, but yeah, the results that followed after that were pretty nice. A 1 0 win against Southampton. Uh, Fraser Foster scoring on goal, even though it was a great effort from uh, Marshall, I think it was. He forced it in, but it just bounced off Forster, so he managed to get the on goal rather than Marshall getting the win, uh, getting the goal. Uh, we did win against Norwich 3 1. Uh, it was a nice little win. Um, we had the three different scores in Marshall, Yanazai, and McTarren, who ended the game for us early, but unfortunately, Blind got sent off us in the 33rd minute. and. Uh, uh, that puts in a tight situation because uh, Norwich managed to score a goal in ninth minute, as you can see there. So we had to really go into defensive sort of uh, formation, as well as uh, playing on the counter. And we managed to see out the game in the second half that we didn't get conceded again. But the the best win of them all was really this one 0 win against Leicester. Uh, Depay managed to get the goal in the 82nd minute, and that sent us to second. We ended the season uh, in second position, um, level on points. With uh, I'm trying to see if I could show you what happened. Yeah, there you go. Uh, level on points with West Ham, but we, because of our superior goal difference, we actually had the same goal difference as Arsenal. So really, we're not too far from Arsenal last season as we were the season before, where we were in fifth place and 68 points, and they won it by 90 points. And as you can see, even for second place, they were 12 points ahead. So we managed to close the gap quite a bit, and hopefully this season we can go one step further. In terms of what happened with the squad, I've uh, brought in Marco Verratti, just as I mentioned. He'll be playing as our deep line playmaker. Um, for today's game, he's going to have a different role as a roaming playmaker, but his best best role definitely is a deep line playmaker on defend. Probably more suited to advanced playmaker a little bit more, but uh, deep line, he's more than capable of doing this uh, role as well, and that's what we need him for. Um, he's considered to be a star player. When I was uh, scouting, he was considered to be world class, but for some reason, once we brought him in, he's a star player. So uh, Verratti and Pogba. Um, midfield would have been amazing, really. But unfortunately, as I mentioned, the preseason went poorly. We've got Mkhitaryan out for two to three months, Herrera out for a couple of days, that's not too bad. David De Gea out for eight days to two weeks, and Paul Pogba out for three to four months. So really some heavy, <coughs> heavy um, injuries to some first team players other than Herrera. And actually, uh, we've got both our roaming playmakers out injured, so we actually had to play Verratti as a roaming playmaker and bring in Blind to the side. And as you can see, this is a team we're going to be going with. Romero is going to have to play in goal for us. But really, this is uh, uh, the first choice team. We also brought in James Wilson from uh, his loan spell after last year. He's considered to be ready for the Premier Division, so we're going to give him a chance there, see what he can do. Uh, he's more than capable. His finishing is uh, great. He can play as an advanced forward without a doubt. And uh, hopefully we'll see him play back up as uh, a two to Marshall, really. Um, but that's the main changes I made to the squad. Bought in Wilson and um, Wilson and um, Verratti in, in 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 exchange for Carrick and uh, Ibrahimovic, both who have retired this season. 
Um, but yeah, let's just get into today's game. Same tactics, same uh, instructions and everything. So we'll be playing Arsenal in the Community Shield. Uh, the first game of the Premier Division is actually against Leicester. I don't think that was too important to show, so I thought maybe we could show you the Community Shield because we've been in it for three, three seasons in a row and uh, I haven't shown you guys any of the games for it. So this will be um, possibly the first trophy win. We did beat them Arsenal 5-0 last time so they will have um, you know they'll want to get revenge basically for this game <clears throat> I'm hoping to see a similar performance as the last episode um, but yeah you never really tell uh, you can never really tell Arsenal uh, are definitely favorites as you can see here and uh, we've got a number of injuries as well but yeah we're playing in Wembley so no one's really in, uh, at home they're still sticking with the same formation uh, and they've still held on to a number of key players, really. I guess, uh, um, oh, there's actually, it reminds me, there's a big change for Arsenal in the sense that they actually do have a new manager, and that is Carlo Ancelotti. And uh, the reason being is that Arsene Wenger, or Wenger, whatever you want to call him, is actually the manager of France now. Um, I don't think they did too well in terms of the World Cup which happened over the summer. Yeah, they only reached the quarterfinals, only to lose to Belgium, so not too well, but the Arsenal Wenger's yeah, pretty much taken his chance to be the uh, French um, manager, which is apparently a role that he's always wanted. So anyways, uh, we're just going to mark Ozil there because he's he's playing in a role that can seriously damage us. And uh, yeah, I'm going to tell the players, win it for the fans, really. Um, they should be expected to put in a good performance here. Uh, I'm a little <coughs> hesitant with Romero and Gold, but unfortunately with De Gea out, he's going to get a chance to shine. And we're going to get a nice little intro here from a 3D point of view. And we'll get to see uh, an Arsenal side that are uh, technically different in terms of Ancelotti being their manager, but formation-wise and player-wise, they've pretty much remained the same. I don't think they've really brought anyone in this year, or really, uh, they've sold a couple of players like Anlini, I think. Uh, we could have a look maybe later on, but anyways, Marshall's going to bring the ball forward here. He loses out for Chaka, and they're going to have a chance to counter with Diabala leading the way. He finds Wilshire, who makes no mistake to find Azul. And Chambers is there, and yeah, they're just passing it around, a typical Arsenal style, keeping possession. I think Ancelotti's comfortable with the tactics, I suppose, and thankfully that was offside. I was actually quite worried there for a second, but Diabala did score. Um, so it looks like he can get in behind us, but you know it's dangerous. So far, it's been 20 minutes now. We haven't had a single shot. Going to give it a little bit more and then go on to control and see if we can respond. Arsenal dominating the shots and, and shots on target, but with dominating dominating possessions, so that's a bit better. As you can see, once we switch to control mentality, we've had a, a bit a couple more shots. But Arsenal are going to get the throw in here, and uh, Gibbs is going to have a chance to all will shot to bring put it in the box, and they they do they, they cut it back to Azul who makes no mistake. It looks like control hasn't made too much of a difference because we still had only just one shot. So um, I'm thinking we might have to go into a counter mode and hopefully hit them on the counter and see how that helps us. So as you can see there, uh, Romero's done really poorly, basically. Uh, we're going to get another highlight just before the first half ends. Hopefully this one goes our way. Verratti is going to have a chance to prove his worth. Uh, we bought him in for quite a lot of money. I think 80 million in total, but we've only paid off 40 million, and we're going to pay the other 40 million in these within 12 months' time. And I don't know how it will be scored there. Uh, actually, it makes no sense whatsoever. And Romero's done terribly again as a backup goalkeeper, and this is exactly why we're missing the hair. It's just a near post, and honestly, just have no clue what he's doing there. Um, so we will switch to counter, but what we'll be doing is. Telling my players off a little bit, as well as uh, switching the duties rather than the roles, switching the duties to being more attacking and see if that helps us. Um, I was thinking uh, whenever we're playing top teams to play as a central midfielder on defend as well as a deep line playmaker on support. Um, but it's a bit too late to do that now. I was hoping maybe we could uh, repeat the same performance we had last time against Arsenal. Um, but so far it hasn't been that way in Arsenal uh, dominating. Uh, the, the stats that really matter is this one here in the top left corner. And um, 
hopefully we see a bit of a response from our players to at least get one goal. It's not two, but Arsenal are going to bring the ball forward here on the counter-attack and Wilshire has a chance to find his teammate Awobi, who scored already. He's going to dribble a little bit and passes it to Welbeck. And Welbeck's going to get a chance to... Oh, almost does something special there for me, but yeah, it will be again. And uh, Arsenal just getting in behind us is, you know, too easily, really. Um, we haven't conceded much over the season. As I mentioned, we were, we were the team that conceded the least over the whole Premier League season last season. Uh, so our main issue is not scoring enough, and it's showing again. It will be makes no mistake. I think we just uh, we have to go all out really now. Um, I think I'll exploit the middle a little bit more, but I don't know what's going on. My team have have pretty much just fallen apart and some really poor defending. Uh, more more so the goalkeeping really. The goalkeeping has let us down terribly. Uh, we'll get a chance to I think I'll just play narrow a bit more because of the way we've played so far, but I, I should make a couple of substitutions as well. I think there was a highlight that I was about to play there. For some reason Romero still got a 6.8, but I think he definitely should be lower than that just because of how poorly he's performed. Um, but a number of players here have performed horribly. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll let Wilson come on for Marshall and bring on Depay for Rashford. We've taken off Smalling just because he got a little knock, looked uh, quite tired there, and hopefully these other two attacking changes in Wilson and Depay. Uh, maybe they can prove their worth to being in uh, in the first team. Small is going to get a chance to score him. He does through a set piece. Can we score another two within the next half an hour of the game? Uh, but yeah, what what ball in from Mata? Small just does really well to float in there and head it in. I'm not sure who's marking him there. Um, it's Chambers and Chambers is really poorly there. But again, Smalling <laughs> just subbed him off, but he was tired. So I mean, what can I do? Um, I think Arsenal still playing with 4-2-3-1, so I guess they're comfortable and they don't think they need to go into defensive just yet. Um, and fair, fair enough to them for today's performance. We really haven't shown up. They did switch around now, so I just have to quickly make sure that no one's still marking Ozil, who's off the field anyways. And they've got Coquelin in to make it a bit more defensive. Um, we're gonna have an, I thought we were going to have another chance to reset piece, but Depay just squares it to Mario Fernandez who can cross it in here. Instead, he goes for a shot. And uh, overall, that's poor football. Uh, we had Last time we played Arsenal, we had five clear cut chances, and this time we haven't had a single one, and our shot count is really low. Uh, it, my team just really haven't shown up for this game whatsoever. Uh, but we are going to get a chance. Well, I thought we were going to have a chance to counter but instead it's Arsenal who are going to bring the ball forward here with a number of youngsters playing in this team now, Dragomir and this guy here at par. Instead it's going to be Diabala who's caused so much trouble in recent times and Iwobi is going to get another chance to get his third goal I think it is. Instead he blazes it over the bar and uh, thankfully we've survived that little attack there but as you can see here just poor performances all around. Uh, Lingard really not proving that he can take over from Mkhitaryan. And uh, let's see if we can counter here. Verratti going to have a chance and Wilson's going to bring the ball forward. He does well to find Memphis. We can Memphis do something special, but that is far from special and his decision-making really showing there. Let me quickly show you his decisions. Decisions on eight. And that is incredibly poor. Uh, and it showed there, really, choosing to cut in and shoot from a distance and... Uh, not only was it a poor shot, but he also had better players in better positions. Uh, but it looks like it's going to end 3-1 to Arsenal here. Not a great way to start a season and not a great way to show that we mean serious business this year. But unfortunately, because of a number of injuries uh, to key players, it's showed. Uh, I mean, you know, the goals that Arsenal scored, the hair definitely would have saved it out of that. Um, and Romero is not a capable backup at all. He's only considered as a decent goalkeeper but I never really considered the hair to get injured it's quite rare in the game for a goalkeeper to get seriously injured it's normally just a little bit um, but Romero did really poorly for me today I don't think that full-time ratings deserved at all uh, you know according to his rating he's one of the best players on the on the uh, on our team for this game but he really wasn't um, just gonna tell my players to just put it behind them but we really we've been in the community shield three times now we should have uh, won the trophy at least once by now but yeah, um, bigger trophies to go for 
and the bigger games are going to be coming up. This is really only the opening uh, game of the season. Uh, in terms of when we'll be back, actually, let me, we, we had a nice little short cross a testimonial with Stoke uh, in preseason. But anyways, we have a number of nice games here. I think they're too early to be of any significance. I normally like to have uh, between seven games between each episode of the round. So if we say one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So around the Norwich game, we should be back. Depends on the Champions uh, League this season. I might be showing you some of the Champions League games. Really depends on how far we get. In terms of expectations, we're, for the Premier Division, they only expect us to qualify for the Champions League again. But in the Champions League itself, we're expected to reach the quarterfinals. So we do need to make it out of our group. Um, and yeah, and let me see. Let me show you how much we bought him in for. How much? How can we do that? Oh, there you go. It says 86 million, but really using two different parts. So he's pretty much our midfield where we spent a crazy amount of money, but we still have plenty of money left. 42 million and uh, 1.2, or oh, one and a bit uh, million for our wage budget as well. Uh, so yeah, I mean, we've given a number of youngsters as well. The board are happy about that. In terms of finances, our projection, they expect me, they expect me giving me a one for 145 million budget for next season. So really, finance is going great. And um, I think that'll be all for today's episode. So if you enjoyed the enjoyed this episode, then please hit the like button as well, subscribe. And yeah, I think that'll be all for today. So thanks, guys. Thank you for watching.